The Ghanaian Armed Forces have bolstered their combat capabilities with the recent acquisition of VN-22 armored vehicles from China, as reported by Military Africa. At least 20 units arrived at the port of Tima on October 26, 2024, marking a significant enhancement in the nation's defense strategy. Equipped with powerful 30mm autocannons, these vehicles are poised to provide increased firepower for a variety of combat scenarios. The VN-22 is a family of 6x6-wheeled armored vehicles developed by the Chinese defense manufacturer Norinco, specifically designed for the export market. First unveiled at the 13th China International Aviation and Aerospace Exhibition in 2021, the VN-22 attracted attention for its modular design, which allows for adaptation to multiple combat roles, including Armored Personnel Carrier, APC, and Infantry Fighting Vehicle, IFE variants. One of the standout features of the VN-22 is its modular configuration, which accommodates various turret options and weapon systems tailored to meet specific operational requirements. The vehicle family includes manned and unmanned turret configurations, offering flexibility depending on the mission. Armament options range from machine guns to the more powerful 30mm autocannons, enhancing the Ghanaian Armed Forces' operational capabilities. Designed with enhanced protection in mind, the VN-22 features additional armor plating that shields most of its structure from armor-piercing rounds up to 14.5mm caliber, providing protection equivalent to NATO STANAG 4569 Level 4 standards. This ensures resilience against direct fire from all directions. Additionally, the vehicle's V-shaped hull mitigates the effects of landmines and improvised explosive devices, i.e. DEES, ensuring greater safety for its occupants in combat situations. The acquisition of the VN-22 aligns with a broader regional trend, as countries like Ivory Coast, Senegal, and Burkina Faso have also incorporated this versatile vehicle into their military inventories. A recent video circulating on social media showcased the delivery of VN-22 vehicles to Burkina Faso, further highlighting the vehicle's growing popularity in West Africa. This strategic purchase is expected to significantly enhance the Ghanaian Army's mobility, firepower, and survivability across various operational environments, marking a pivotal step in the modernization of its armored vehicle fleet. The VN-22 Armored Fighting Vehicle, developed and produced by Norinco, has been in service since 2023, offering a robust solution for military forces requiring a highly adaptable combat platform. The vehicle can accommodate a crew of three while providing space for up to eight passengers, making it suitable for troop transportation under armored protection. With a protection level that meets STANAG 4569 Level 4 standards, the VN-22 can withstand hits from armor-piercing rounds and offer substantial security against direct fire and explosive threats. Its primary armament, the 30mm autocannon, is effective against infantry, light armored vehicles, and low-flying aircraft. Additionally, the VN-22B variant is armed with a 105mm cannon, significantly increasing firepower against heavier targets. Secondary armament options include two HJ-12 anti-tank guided missiles, a QJC-88 12.7mm heavy machine gun, and a Type 86 7.62mm coaxial machine gun on the VN-22B variant, enhancing its battlefield versatility. The arrival of these vehicles underscores Ghana's commitment to strengthening its defense capabilities amid evolving security challenges. As regional military dynamics continue to shift, the deployment of the VN-22 will provide the Ghanaian Armed Forces with a versatile and robust platform capable of addressing both conventional and asymmetric threats. The acquisition of the VN-22 armored vehicles is a significant development for the Ghanaian Armed Forces, enhancing their operational readiness and demonstrating a proactive approach to modernizing military capabilities. As the security landscape in West Africa evolves, the VN-22 will play a crucial role in ensuring that Ghana remains prepared to meet emerging threats and protect its national interests.